all about the archers i'm philippa and i'm joined by quentin because we are here to talk to the truly fabulous daisy badger who plays pip archer daisy welcome thank you very much it's lovely to be here delighted to see you now, now daisy with, with an with a name like daisy badger you, you were destined to be in a rural drama weren't you because I, I believe there is farming in your family yeah there is there is and we've we've moved back here actually where I, where i grew up we were we were in london for years and years and years but then last christmas we moved back to the village we moved back to the village and so we're back in amongst it now we've got our chickens we've got our dog <sighs> Not the baby. So now, who knows what will be next? Yeah, yeah. Back to it. Because, <laughs> because what well, home, home is in Worcestershire, isn't it? If I'm right, is that yeah, right? Worcestershire. Right. Yeah. 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 And mum and dad are down the road, and then you've got nan next door, and the other nan's down the other way. My uncles around, and yeah, we know everybody. It, it's lovely. It's it uh, sounds like Ambridge, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Because yeah, really is. Ambridge. Am I right? Your, your uncle has a farm and your parents are into market yeah, gardening and all he's, that? Yeah. He's into sheep. He's into sheep. So he's kind of the Eddie Grundy, isn't he? Um, Texels? I don't actually think they are Texels. <laughs> that would just be too much, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, he's got back into his... They are, he does show them, though. And there's not that many of them. I wonder what they are. I should have asked. I should have asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, well... Daisy, let's talk about Pip, because Pip, I think it's fair to say, has had a bit of an evolution. Does it feel, it certainly feels that way to us. Does it feel that way to you? Yeah, big time. I don't know, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Because I've only been in charge of Pip since, um, well, you know, I've only been in charge of Pip for 10 years, mm -hmm. um, because before it was Helen. Um, and I kind of, I was, I was quite, I was quite ignorant about what that meant. I suppose I was fresh out of drama school, and I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll do that." You're taking over a role. And I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about that. And so I just thought, "Yeah, yeah, grand. Do it. what do I? Okay, cool." And then I looked at the family tree, and I was like, "I guess I'll concentrate on learning this." <laughs> and asking any other questions, and um, yeah, um, so. You know, um, yeah, the Fairbrother era lasted quite a while, didn't it? That Fairbrother era. Um, mm. I mean, yeah, I guess this feels... I don't know, she, Pep always seems to be defined by her romances, doesn't she? Um, <laughs> but um, Forever the Farmer. Yeah, this does seem a bit different. I don't know why it seems different with Stella. Or maybe it's just something that Pip's on about. She's perhaps not so pedantic. Maybe it's becoming a mother as well. Um, yeah. She seems like she's kind of owning it rather than being swept along by stuff, which is pretty cool. I mean, were, were you surprised by the lesbian storyline? Because I certainly was, because up to that point, there'd been, as far as I could tell, nothing to indicate that uh, Pip was gay. No little, no little flags being waved. No! Um, Were there? I don't know. I suppose I, I'd never hadn't, I'd never really contemplated it as where Pip might end up going. But I think she's been so reluctant to use the word gay, and I still don't think she has used that as a. Did she use it with David? She said she likes girl. Anyway, um, she she seems so reluctant to kind of. Um, say to pop mm. herself in a in mm. a in a in a particular Box. world yeah. like her, Label, her queerness yeah. i suppose is is mm. what she's celebrating by being with stella um which is but did it did it come as a pretty cool. but did it come as a surprise to you as the actor playing it, no Pip? the it was a, i guess it was a surprise for, to me because it is a surprising thing for pip to do but yeah I, I could see it coming a mile off. At first, I thought oh, that. Right. So, well, because I really got on with Lucy, and we just had a great time whenever we were in studio, and we'd laugh too much and piss about too much, and we just had a really <laughs> nice time. And I thought, oh, we'll probably end up doing some more scenes together. And then I was like, and then I thought it was going to be Ruth 
and Stella yes. that had the yes the um yeah the cloodle cloodle I suppose <laughs> but then I thought oh it's not oh it's Pip oh fair enough so it was it was surprising that that's yeah. not Pip if you'd have asked me I don't know it's not a year ago it's, it's, time goes so fast in the arches doesn't it but um if you'd have asked me, I'd have been surprised. But now I'm like, well, yeah, I, you can see it. Really. Well, you you started off with an argument with Stella, so I think it was like destined you were going to yeah. get together, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you hate and it. And the yeah. the minute the minute David said uh, came up with the wonderful phrase "lesbian mentor," I mean that was just <laughs> an absolute gem. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Lucy's got a T-shirt with that on. Yeah. Yes, that was from, from us. us. <laughs> who was it? Oh, fam. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's proof. Yes. Yeah. Oh, have you got it there, oh, Q? Go brilliant. on. Show, show the T-shirt. There you go. Can you see it? <laughs> so good. Let's be a mentor in the Ambridge font. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it has to be done. I mean, have, have there been moments when the script has arrived and you've read it and you've actually groaned at what Pip is getting up to next not um not with Stella but in other times um I guess I guess I guess the groan I get yeah I never groan at her I'm sorry I can't help it I love her I never groan at her sometimes I'm like ah oh, Pip what do you like but I can never <laughs> groan I can't groan at her I just can't well that's ruined my next question Oh, I was going to say in real, I was going to say in real life, Daisy, would Pip give you the pip? Pip give you the pip. But like, yeah. if I met Pip, I'd be like, "Chill out, girl. What yes. Are you, what are you? Chill." Oh, please. Um, but I, I, yes. I, I'm, I think I'm quite a relaxed person, and so, um, Pip. Yeah, I'm not sure we'd hang out too much, but um, mm. yeah, in real life, yeah, she needs to chill. But she I does. love her. I've got. I've got her. I've got her. I can't help it. Because yeah. in fact, when we spoke to Lucy, um, who plays Stella, of course, she she told us in person that um, in real life you're nothing like Pip because you're relaxed, you're cheerful, you're chilled about bringing up your child. Everything Pip yeah, isn't don't, really. Don't believe everything Lucy says. <laughs> <laughs> she well, that's what she said. She on. <laughs> well, talking of the child Rosie, I'm interested. Are you looking forward to the time when Rosie has a voice and can speak, or are you slightly sort of dreading what that might bring out? I no, I'm only interested. I can't dread that. No, it's um, it's it's interesting seeing it at the minute with. Henry, isn't it? Henry's recently had found mm. his voice, that's and that's brilliant. And I just think it's really cool, you know. I think, and he's such a great, yeah, he's such a great Henry. Um, mm. Yeah. I'm. The thing is, I'm just constantly impressed by things at the moment, um, which makes me only look forward to the idea of a little Rosie being about. I suppose. Who knows what that will do to Pip? God. Maybe she'll be getting oh, like management. So... What's she going to be like? Um, but yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think Pip exploits people when it comes to childcare? She's a bit lax, isn't I mean, she, really? She must <clears throat> do. Oh my God. So now I've got a baby. I'm like, ah, baby. Yeah. I love baby. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> and the idea that now <laughs> that Pip must have done all of this. And done the farm work. She must have had the baby on her back. Surely. <laughs> She's palmed, a, palm, palmed the baby off to Ruth or Jill or oh, the brothers. A, a or a sheep or, I don't know, anything really. <laughs> Put her in the hay barn. <laughs> Can I just go back to how you got into, how you got the part? Because mm. is it true that a documentary you made as a 12-year-old about foot and mouth <clears throat> might have clinched the role of Pitt for you? Who knows? I feel like Sean said that at one point. It was a different leadership at the time. It was Sean. And he, um, 
I don't know. I think it got mentioned at one point that that was a thing. It was a foot and mouth. God, that's old town cringe, Donny Um <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah, we made that. Well, what I what, what, what I read was that you were, you know, from farming background, you were very passionate about it as a 12-year-old. You made this documentary and as a video clip that the producers of The Archers saw. Yeah, yeah. Is it, yes. Yeah, yeah, is that I true? Think, I think it did have something to do with well, it. it yeah. They never kind of brought it up and said, um, what about foot and mouth then, babe? But, um, <laughs> but yeah, that does exist. Probably still does. Yeah. Probably still exists. Well. Yeah. well, I mean, Jeremy so far has refused to let me have a part in The Archers, so maybe if I go off and make him a documentary about something, maybe that will yeah. clinch it. You never know. <laughs> Frankly, frankly, I think the only route is to make a documentary. It will um, be done. Yes. I'll be out tomorrow. <laughs> what you but make Daisy, oh, oh, I don't know anything that gets me in the archers. Uh, whatever, whatever Ooh, would make Asian Jeremy. Asian hornets. Do Asian hornets. I'm, I've made a note. Asian hornets. It's happening tomorrow. I'll be there <laughs> with my stethoscope. It'll, it'll all happen. But Daisy, you've got. You know, you are a proficient actor. You have so many different roles that you play. I'm interested, when you go in somewhere new, in my head, being in the arches is like the gold ticket to get into any acting job. Is it that or or is it not quite as yeah, I hold it up it to be? <laughs> well, I think, like, I mean, there is. An, there's, there's... If you walk into a room and they mention the archers that means they're a listener therefore you have common ground and that's great and it's completely it's changes the room it's it's, yeah. it's lovely yeah. um <clears throat> but i know it's surprising but not everybody listens what i know i, I know. know it's shocking i know i know what is going on what is going on? How long have you listened for, Daisy? How have you been a lifelong yeah, listener? No, I mean I definitely ducked out of it for a um, for for all of my for a long time. But since I joined the show again, I'm a listener. <laughs> since I yes. didn't join again, just since I started the show. I mean, yes, I don't say but... I was definitely always a listener. Hmm. There are some members of the cast mentioned no names uh, that don't listen. But I definitely, <gasps> I can't not listen. It's like my little um, thing. It's it, yeah. it's normally grandmothers who 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 hook their grandchildren into listening while while making well, my cakes. My granddad was a listener, and he was called Phil too, just like oh. Phil. Oh. And he was a market gardener, so he was a vegetable grower. He found mm. this land around us now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which of your parents just your parents got <laughs> Pip's parents do you think Pip gets on with better I always think she has quite a good relationship with David yeah I he think gets more David yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. It's probably, he, get, he got the um, he got the he got the I'm a Stella chat yeah I think there yeah. is a little bit of friction between her and Ruth I'm not really sure how that's evolved um, but I, sometimes I feel like Pip puts herself in with the blokes just you know to get that um i guess it's, it's quite, i'm about to say quite a misogynistic thing but to you know to get the power to get the to mm. get the things that she wants to be associated with that have you know in the patriarchal world been kind of manified mm. so i think mm. she puts herself in with you know where the conversations are that she wants to be involved with to um to mm. to kind of uh, you know, yeah. But do you think she, she treated? Makeup on. Do you think she treated Toby badly? I mean, she pretty much used him, didn't she, just to convince herself? Which way am I going to go? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd say that was pretty bad. Yeah, I'd say that was wasn't yeah. nice behaviour. But really. I don't think she yeah. necessarily. I don't think it was particularly malicious. I think she was doing it out of um, out for old of, time's sake. Old time sake, a little bit of fear, a little bit of curiosity, you know, a little, a little of all all of these things, and not meaning to. I mean, of, oh, all, it's... of all the people that have used her, like not yeah. Used yeah. her, but you know, I think it's, yeah, 
Six of one. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he's had, Toby's had his fair share of doing that to other people. So it's, um, yes, not, not the worst person to have chosen. But with all the scenes that you play, Daisy, so you've had some very sort of nice, gentle scenes around the kitchen table with the family. Then you've had scenes like the flood and the disaster and all that Pip did to help rescue the situation there what what are the most what scenes do you like playing the most the sort of the more mundane cozy ones or the big sound effect things happening i mean i mean i always think that the birthing scenes are always really fun you always look forward to springtime and i hope you get a little bit of yogurt uh, uh yogurt action um they're always really nice i you know what i've i have found myself really enjoying the stellary ones i think because they i don't know i guess they're slightly they tap into some sense of humor that i think that pip hasn't i, I guess that they're, they're just ones that i haven't done so much in this show and i think they're i think they tap into a sense of humor about um peep which in other places seems to get a little bit lost because she's busy with the farming. Mm. You but mentioned just now. I mean, she 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 put she put she put makeup on the other day, didn't she? <clears throat> she does put makeup on. <laughs> yeah, that was that was an archer's first, wasn't it? <laughs> Talking about humour, were you vying to be part of the gag reculture show? The gag culture show. I love that. I love that. I was like, oh, what? We don't. Yeah. Where's the script where we're. Where's the script where we're funny? But, yeah. <laughs> the dancing. Um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was a really yeah. fun scene. Do you know, they're, they're the curveballs that you don't see coming. I think yeah. they're the really. The novel the novel scenes that you're like, oh, we're doing this now, which is, which is one of the beauties of this show, that they do come along every now and then that you're like, oh, okay. Let's go and do that. But but it's established Jacob pretty much as the funniest character in Ambridge, isn't it? He's yeah, funny. Good, but it's so. But he doesn't know it, you know. That's, no, that's what makes him funny. Gorgeous, yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> God, and wasn't it funny? It's yeah. an episode that you actually laugh at, like really yeah, you laugh. Do. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Now I've got a got a question. Uh, uh, our co-host, a couple of them couldn't make it today, but um, uh, this one uh, from Katie was saying, uh, "I heard you grew up listening to the Archers," and she asked, "Who were you most surprised to meet, and who looked exactly as you thought they would?" I guess um, you know what Grundyland, and by that I pretty much mean Trevor <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> I guess Trev, Trev doesn't disappoint. He just doesn't no. disappoint. You meet him and you're like, great. Yeah, he is great. Eddie Grunt, isn't he? How are you? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. is this Trev or is this? Yeah, it's great. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 so who, who surprised you when you met them and thought, you don't look anything like I thought you, you know did? You know what? You know what? I thought that well, I thought that I thought that Linda would be shorter than she is. She's she's a beautiful, beautiful Amazonian oh. lady. And then and I thought I just so silly, isn't it? I just thought Linda would yeah. be Yeah. But Carol is just she's she's a leggy wonder. And um, <laughs> and I thought and I thought I thought Lillian would be kind of I I don't know, I thought she'd be a bit mean to me but I mean Sonny's the warmest most yeah you know yeah. like Sonny's just sensational but I was a bit nervous about meeting Lillian because I thought she might be a bit edgy but Lillian <laughs> Sonny and Sonny's <laughs> yeah yeah well we had another question from Katie as well so prepare yourself for this one Daisy and there are three names Ooh. And you've got to do a snog, marry, kill. Toby, oh, <laughs> Rex, Stella. Toby, oh, Rex, Stella, snog, marry, kill. <laughs> uh, we don't give you easy marry, questions. Kill. 
Now, yeah. is this is this as Daisy or as Pip? I do it as Pip. I, I would. I think I was Pip. Would you say? I, I'd say. Well, well, I, I don't know. Go on, do it. Be more oh, fun. Right. I'm over. Do it as Daisy. Go on, Daisy. No. Do it as Daisy. As... Oh, we're going as Daisy. Go yeah. On. So uh, you're an Ambridge as Daisy. So I'm yeah. in Ambridge. I'm like, whoa! Look at the bull. Oh, let's go in the bar. Yeah. Let's yeah. hang out and see let, what's going let, on. Let's snog somebody, or marry them, or kill them. Yeah. Oh, it's very weird. This is probably the first time I've played snog, marry, kill since I've been married. This is different. <laughs> this is different. To- Toby Rex Stella are, are your options. Toby Rex Stella, I would. Um, I think Rex is probably really handsome, so I'd probably snog him. I think that Toby would make me go, who the F are you? And so I'd probably kill him, which means I'd marry Stella. Yeah. Well, 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 there we are. Are are you hinting at a future storyline, Daisy? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, mate, if I had that power, if they trusted me with that knowledge. <laughs> do, do, do you know where Ardell's going? Because we're very puzzled. I don't know where Ardell's going. He's off, he's off to India, but why? You know, just, yeah. You know, a bit of self discovery. Yes. Okay. He'll be back. Right. Not sure Pippin Ardell have ever had a conversation. Is there a character that you would love to play that you're a bit almost jealous of that you wish you could play if you weren't playing oh my god so the other day a a script reading (laughs) we we did a script read through the other day and I um and I got to play Susan I got to play Susan (gasps) but I didn't I couldn't hold it very well you know yeah do a read through (sighs) and if someone's not there you have to read in the part of them (laughs) yeah so much fun but I couldn't hold it I was like I couldn't hold the voice. I couldn't hold any of it. I was just, I was so excited. I really went for it. And then I was like, oh, I don't, creep back in your box, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, I just think she's sensational, isn't she? I just yeah. think Susan's Did... amazing. And Lillian. So... And Lillian's amazing too. That laugh, man, that laugh. <laughs> are, you able to, are, you, are you able to give us a sample of Susan, Daisy? <laughs> No, Quinn, I can't. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm still embarrassed from when I did it. <laughs> we'll let you off. We'll let you off. <laughs> is, is there anything you do to get into the character? I mean, obviously not Susan normally, but Pip. Is Are you just Pip at, at the click of a switch or do you have to think thoughts about wellies and nappies? Um, I mean, I do that anyway in my day-to-day life, so it's quite hard to... um, (laughs) Making the jump isn't too tricky. Um, I think that um, other than doing your prep work and most of it comes from being there, I suppose. Most of it comes from just being there, being in the studio, being with everybody, being with who you're with. It all comes alive once you're all together. Um... Every, everybody we've spoken to says they enjoy the green room the most. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> we don't see Paddy so much these days, but Paddy mm. has always been my my little green room, my my green room love. Um, uh, sorry, Paddy Green. So she plays Jill, my grandma. Jill. Jill. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, she has over there. She's been wicked in that green. And she tells me things, and I'm like, no. <laughs> or she'll have you in stitches over something, or she'll tell me a story about, yeah. Oh, yeah, heaven. Yeah, yeah green room's great. Green room's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Daisy, we now come to the part where we have questions from our Facebook group. Are you sitting comfortably? Mm. Yes. If you thought our questions were tough, brace yourself, okay? Yo, Crikey, <laughs> what are you doing? This is from this is from Darcy. Uh, she lives in California, actually. So they, she's listening all the way in California, and she says, uh, "What was it like for you when you took over the role? E.g., what research did you have to do? How did the other inhabitants of the village react to your appearance in Ambridge?" You know what? I was I, when we moved house. I was clearing out a load of stuff, and I found all of my notes that I kept. I was, I'm, a, I'm a big keeper until I chuck it out. And I found all of them and they were fabulous. Oh, 
family trees and there was backstories and there was notes on all of this stuff and about cows and weird equipment that I'd heard they'd used and so yeah I did did quite a lot but it's hard you can't find archive listening material very much really mm. um but um yeah so so yes yeah, Darcy I I was a nerd a really big nerd I am a nerd at heart I do like work and um, so far as no everybody's just so welcoming I hadn't even like I didn't really understand that I'd taken over from somebody and that could have been awkward I didn't I didn't hmm. even really understand that everyone was so really cool. great oh that's good but Daisy then you're like Jackie who plays Joy Jackie makes lots of notes we've discovered talking to her Does so you she? are another mm. note taker yeah so yeah. there you go well the next question is from pam who says would daisy most prefer to have a sister like pip a brother like josh a brother like ben or be an only child brother like ben <laughs> oh that was knee jerk wasn't it brother like ben <laughs> Careful, Daisy. Aww. Josh is one of Philippa's favourite. I know, I know. He's I think misunderstood. Pip and Josh get a quite, a quite. Um, they rub each other up the yes. wrong way, don't they? And maybe yeah. I should shed that whilst I'm answering this question. And <laughs> go with Josh, but I know I've gone with Ben. I went, I went knee jerk. I'm sorry. You went Perfect. Ben. Yeah. Just being honest, great. Now here's this one from Richard. And he says, so I wonder whether, as noted to Jack Ashton in our last interview, that the audience is suspicious of new characters. Is the audience, he asked, suspicious of new voices replacing old? Actors have said that they are welcomed by the cast, as you've just said. But did Daisy experience any listener kickback? Oh, probably. I mean, <laughs> almost 100% yes. I just didn't. I was just oblivious and didn't check into any of the <laughs> online stuff. <I> <laughs> What you gonna do? It would just make you yeah, sad, wouldn't it? So I just thought, no. Yes. Sorry, that's bad. That's that's not looking after people, is it? But at the same time, no, it's looking after mm. yourself. What you gonna do? Mm. Yes. No, very good. Well, the next question is from Sally, who says, um, "I saw Daisy in an episode of Shakespeare and Hathaway a few months ago, and thought she was great in it. Would Daisy like to do more TV work, or is she happy with the radio and the stage?" P.S. I think Daisy is brilliant as Pip. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. What a kind lady. Um, I mean, Telly's great, isn't it? Telly's just fun. I'm working on a telly at the moment. Got, that's can you tell us? We have to meet today. Can you, can you um, tell us what um, the telly is? What's that, what's that show? It's um, it's yeah, it was called Show Trial before, so it's just the second series called Show Trial. Um, I have a tiny part, which is great because I've got a little baby. So I'm now going to be away for nine days, and that's the longest I've been away from the baby. And like, oh, gives me the willies, but. It's lovely. It's lovely to be part of such a show, such, you know, it's magic. Being on set is magic. It's like being in studio. Being in studio is magic. Being around creative cast, crew, people, it's just, it's oxygen, isn't it? So it's, um, yeah, we're looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Okay, this one from Dawn. How much, if anything, of Pip is in Daisy and how much of Daisy is in Pip? Hmm. Well, I suppose... I bring quite a lot to Pip because she is me. Um, but I, I, call, I can't bring that much because we're very different people. <laughs> Thank like, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, like, honestly, I like, I try something and they go, mm, maybe just a bit, just a bit, dry it I, you know I, anyway but we um yeah it's, it's hard to bring too much of myself to pip because pip's quite <laughs> different yeah <laughs> Well, the next question is from Mia, and I think we've you've talked about this a little bit, but there might be something else you want to say. Her question is, why do you think Pip is so uptight? 
That's a nice way of putting it. Um, <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know. I haven't done that. Um, I haven't done that thought exercise. I think she's got, perhaps she's got a, a chip on her shoulder. I think she's probably got a point to prove. I think she probably, you know, has had thoughts about what her, her ambitions for everything is. You know, we don't know where the, where she gets it from. Um, other than, I guess it's kind of either pride or jealousy or whatever. You know, fear of being found out that she's not good enough. So it's just. Rachel asks you, uh, are, are you, Daisy, ever embarrassed by Pip's behaviour? Um, am I embarrassed by Pip's behaviour? I'm past the point of embarrassment, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, hey, I can't be embarrassed by her. She's, um, she's, she is who she is, you know? She is who she All is. Right. I've just got to accept that. Yeah. Although, okay. you know, sometimes she's, Blooming ham. She's very ham fisted, isn't she, about some stuff? She's so yeah. monkey. You're like, oh, yeah. mate. Can... You can see that you're not subtle. Yeah. yeah. She's, she can be pretty stroppy and moody, can't she? Let's be honest. Stroppy, moody. Ugh. Uptight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but we, you love her. You love her. That's the main thing. I love her. Can't I? <laughs> uh, well, the final question right. is from Sue, who asks this Do you think. We will see the first lesbian wedding in the history of the Archers. Good luck, Pip and Stella. Do, do, do. Yeah. Um, what no, do spoilers. If, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> I mean, I wish, if only. Honestly, guys. Daisy doesn't know. With that. <laughs> you think they trust me with that? Right. <laughs> oh. um, I think. What do I think? I think there could be, but I think that maybe it might get near there, but then not get near there. You know, who knows? Might go that way, might look like it, and then. Mm. I, I would would you would you like there to be? I think it would be a really. I don't know. It seems like it. It feels like there should have been one already in a way because. Mm. Um, mm. Because I guess where the world is now, and if, if mm. you think of Ambridge uh, mirroring the world, I suppose. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they, if they did. Uh, I would be surprised if they didn't either, because mm. they don't need to, you know. Like it's not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. but would would stingy David pay for any of it? We'd have it in the barn, wouldn't we? We'd have it in the <laughs> yeah. barn. With Eddie Snyder, kill a cow. Silent fireworks. <laughs> Put it on the yeah. yeah, silent fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> just before we go, Daisy, I'm just interested in... We haven't spoken about memorable scenes. I know we've talked about a few of them, but mm. what, for you, are the real standout moments for Pip and what you've experienced in the last 10 years? Cool. Um, scenes. They always tend to be with yoghurt. I know that's, that's, I know I've mentioned yoghurt before, but they always tend to be with Ness and like you're either you're pretending to pull a calf out or a lamb out or I guess they're not particularly memorable, are they? Because there's so many of them. But I just love them. And I always feel like when another one happens, maybe it's me me as an actor as much as anything, but it, and something else is happening in your life and you're pretending that, you know, you'll bring another life in. You know, this goes as far as Rosie, I guess, as well. Me mooing to get Rosie out. But um, it was, um, <laughs> yeah, they're always, I think that, I think the yeah, the life-giving scenes, I just think, uh, I just think they're, I just think they're lovely scenes. Oh, it speaks about, oh, you can tell I'm a new mum, can't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, ask me that on a different day and it would have been, <laughs> you know, flitting between Toby and Rex or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, wonderful. Well, each time we interview a cast member, Daisy, we ask them a question 
given to them by the previous cast member we interviewed. And the last person we interviewed was Jack, who plays Harry Chilcott. Harry. And Harry's oh. question for Pip was, please, can you babysit Martha so I can go out more with Alice? That's a great <laughs> question. And Pip would probably say, um, fine, but drop her round or something. Like, yes. Something, because she's yes. so busy. Yeah. She's so busy. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think she'd be up for it. I think Pip would be up for it. Like, yeah, I'll look after Martha. Drop her around. <laughs> Join She's your friend Mad- Madison and Madison's child yeah. and Maddie. yeah, all That's of them. That's right. <laughs> if we can ride on your pony, uh, mate. Can we ride on her pony? Yeah. Then we'll do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, bit, 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 a bit overweight though. A bit like Rosie, yeah. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Don't yeah, you? I was so that. cross with that. I was so angry about that Don't scene, know. Daisy. I was furious Don't. about that. How dare Don't they? Yes, yeah, so I yeah. got all cross now. Yeah. That was unacceptable. Yeah. No, Sorry, no. it was. It was in the script. I made it up. No, ben Archer. I'm sorry. I've got words to say to him. <clears throat> That's right. My favourite uh, brother, apparently. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you, you want to reconsider? Bring Josh <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> well, Daisy, it's just been so wonderful to talk to you and hear more about you it's and about Pitt. We're just so... Oh, thank you so much for coming on, honestly. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks for making it work. I love it. Thank you.